We have some major breaking news. It appears that Elon Musk is under investigation for a threat that he made toward the life of President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, we've all seen what's been going on with Elon Musk recently. He's now a major Trump fan and has been radicalized into the MAGA cult. He loves everything Trump says. He buys into his conspiracy theories. He's just gone down the rabbit hole with Donald Trump. And now they like hang out. They're like best buds uh, having lunch and dinner at Mar-a-Lago with each other. It's all very strange. But I want to show you this post that Elon Musk put out yesterday and show you the reporting. So let's just dive right in. So to give you some context on all of this stuff, this is what took place on Twitter yesterday. And this was Elon Musk's response to the second assassination attempt of Donald Trump. A Twitter user said why they want to kill Donald Trump. Yes, there's a typo in there. And I guess Elon Musk and nobody else noticed, but I digress. And Elon Musk responded to that post by saying, and no one is even trying to assassinate Biden slash Kamala and included an emoji with a thinking face, what appears to be. What? That is an incredibly irresponsible and dangerous thing to post. Elon Musk has hundreds of millions of followers on Twitter Many of them are diehard Republicans, and many of them are crazy, crazy people who might do something if they're inspired by one of their icons, one of their cult leaders like Elon Musk. But he doesn't care. He just puts it out anyway. This is clearly an incitement of violence against Biden and Kamala Harris. Now, here's the thing. The Secret Service doesn't play around. They don't mess around. When it comes to stuff like this, they don't play. So... It makes sense as to why the, the Secret Service is looking into this, and they absolutely should, because this tweet right here got hundreds of millions of views as well, tens of thousands of likes by people, written out by Elon Musk, one of the most famous men in the world, the richest man in the world. And as I mentioned, the Secret Service is looking into this. We have some reporting here from Reuters this evening saying that the U.S. Secret Service says it is aware of the Musk post about Biden and Harris. Uh, the U.S. Secret Service said on Monday that it was aware of a post by billionaire Elon Musk on the social media platform musing about an absence of assassination attempts on Biden and Harris. Now, it's also important to note that that's not true. There have been a number of threats towards the life of Biden, Harris, and many other people in the Democratic Party, like Alvin Bragg in New York City, the district attorney, or Fonnie Willis, the DA of Fulton County. All of these people have experienced threats and, and, and more. I mean, it doesn't just stop right there. People in the Department of Justice as well have had threats to their lives, uh, but apparently Elon Musk just doesn't know about that. Musk, who owns the platform known as, of course, Twitter, but it's now X, uh, put up the post after a man suspected of planning to assassinate Donald Trump at his golf course was arrested. A Trump supporter and the CEO of Tesla, Musk wrote, and no one is even trying to assassinate Biden and Kamala, as we talked about, and he was quickly criticized by X users from the left and the right who said they were concerned that his words to nearly 200 million followers could incite violence against Biden and Harris. Musk deleted the post. But the Secret Service, tasked with protecting current and former presidents, vice presidents, and other notable officials, of course took notice. Rightfully so. They put out a statement on this stuff saying, The Secret Service is aware of the social media post made by Elon Musk, and as a matter of practice, we do not comment on matters involving protective intelligence a spokesperson told Reuters in an email. We can say, however, that the Secret Service investigates all threats related to our protectees. Now, they're not explicitly saying, yeah, we're investigating Elon Musk because that's never really the procedure of the Secret Service, but that's as close as you can possibly get. They are absolutely looking into this post by Elon Musk and seeing the repercussions and seeing what action needs to be taken. The spokesperson also declined to specify whether the agency had reached out to Musk, who seemed to suggest in a follow-up post that he'd been making a joke. Now, let's look at those follow-up posts because this is what Elon Musk said after he was rightly criticized for that post. He said, well, one lesson I've learned is that just because I say something to a group and they laugh doesn't mean it's going to be all that hilarious as a post on X. So now he's trying to justify his post by saying it's just a joke and it's just humor. What's funny about that? What's funny about that? We are seeing threats constantly to elected officials and Elon Musk wants to joke around and maybe inspire somebody to take action. What's funny about that? There's nothing funny about that. It's not a joke. What a disgusting thing to say. And what a terrible justification just saying, oh, I was just kidding. I was just horsing around. 
These are people's lives in a country with political division and conspiracies raging uh, more than we've seen in modern American history. And Elon Musk wants to horse around. What a joke. And he also said later in another post at 3 a.m. in the morning, might I add, saying, turns out that jokes are way less funny if people don't know the context and the delivery is plain text. Further, again, trying to justify his disgusting post toward President Biden and Kamala Harris. Um, and the White House has also, of course, been very vocal about this, again, rightfully so, saying violence should only be condemned, never encouraged or joked about. This rhetoric is irresponsible. I totally agree. I think that was a good statement from the White House. Um, and, and this should be condemned. Why on earth? Why on earth? Does Elon Musk post something like this? I don't know. But reminder, he's a federal contractor. He makes money from the federal government, yet he's going after the president and the current vice president and also the Democratic nominee for president, might I add? Reprehensible. It's reprehensible. Maybe those government contracts should be looked at again because I don't think that somebody should be making billions, tens of billions of dollars in government contracts if they're posting stuff like this. There's just a remarkable difference in character between the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. You know, no Democrat is posting stuff like this. No Democrat is suggesting violence should be taken against anybody. Democrats always, always condemn political violence, whether it be on January 6th or whether it be toward Donald Trump or any Republican or any elected official for that matter. Republicans, on the other hand, well, they, well, they don't feel the same all the time. When it came to Paul Pelosi, a lot of them mocked the attack toward his life the breaking in of the, Pol the Pelosi home. When it comes to Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, Elon Musk jokes about an attempt on their lives. It's disgusting. It's unacceptable. And these people that we're talking about right here should be nowhere near power. Nowhere near power. Irresponsible lunatics. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this reporting, talk about it a little bit. The Secret Service is clearly investigating and we'll learn more soon as a result of that investigation. So I appreciate you watching this video. Make sure to subscribe down below. It goes an incredibly long way. Also drop a like on the video and comment. Let me know what you think about all of this. And as I always say, I really appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.